So I thought I'd make a video showing you how you can turn these heads by dead mouse into virtual ARs for Facebook and Instagram. I just learned how to do it. It took probably five minutes and now my head's available on Instagram and Facebook for anyone to use. So I've got another head we're going to use it with. So first things all, you need to go to OpenSea and download your head or, or pick any head that you want uh, in the listing. So this is my one. In the description, you'll find the 3D GLTF file. And that's what you're going to need. If you just click it, it's just going to open up this page of code, which obviously we don't want. So right click, save link as, and then you'll be able to save that as the actual GLTF file that we need, which I've already done up here. So go ahead and save that to your computer. Then we're going to need to download Spark AR Studio, which is free software to build effects on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, if you want to learn how to use it properly, check out the, the learning section. There's heaps of tutorials here which come with project files. Uh, but I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do step by step to basically just get your head on a Facebook filter as fast and as simple as possible. Uh, so open up Spark AR Studio once it's downloaded and installed and ready to go. And again, if you want to learn how to use this, check out their website. But I'm just going to give you a real simple rundown of the steps you need to do to just get this done. Um, so it's going to give you a video that you can work with, just a default video of this guy moving his head around so you, you can play around with that. Or over on this left hand side, there's a little video button. You can go and select your camera. And there we go. That's me. Hello. But I don't want to look at my face. I want a dead mouse head. Uh, so we're going to go import from computer down here in the assets panel. And we're going to add the 3D model of our dead mouse head that we downloaded earlier. Right, once that's imported, it'll be down in your assets panel. And up here in the top is where we're basically building our scene and, and our effect. So first of all, we want to add face tracking to that scene. So we go add object, face tracker, and it's automatically going to put that in the right place. That's all you need to do, simple. Uh, and then we want to drag our 3D model onto that face tracking. And there's not much more you need to do there. That 3D model is now tracking to my face, uh, but it's a bit big. This window in the top right corner shows you a mobile preview, what it's going to look like on mobile. And obviously, you're just going to see a bunch of teeth, and that's not very good. So we need to resize it, we need to rotate it, change the scale and the position of it. Um, so I'll give you all the measurements that you need, I think, to just get a semi-decent job done. Um, so make sure you've got the 3D model selected over on the left-hand side here. That's highlighted. And then over on the right, these are the controls, the transformation controls we've got to tweak it. So starting with position, you've got X, Y, and Z axis. We're going to leave X at zero, then we're going to do... 0.04 and minus 0.1 for Z. There you go, that's slightly adjusted the position, but it should be just enough. Let's do the scale next. We'll change X to 0.35. Uh, in fact, we're gonna do them all to 0.35 um, so that it's all nice and even. There we go, that's a bit better size. Uh, but lastly, we just need to change the rotation because I think it's looking up a bit much. Um, so if we just add a little bit of rotation to the Y axis, no, sorry. Uh, the x-axis, uh, change that to 25. And then it's looking down a bit more. I take my headset off. I think that's a semi-decent job. It looks good enough to get going. Uh, you can fine-tune these. There are some other things I'm sure you can, you can change and do with it, but that's enough to get you going. And then all you need to do from there, once that's ready, is just hit publish in the top right-hand corner. Publish this as a new effect. Uh, it gives you the option to upload a demo video now, but you can also do that later. It's going to ask you to add some like experiences here. So I'm going to say this is a sharing experience because people want to share their heads and also a video calling experience. You can wear this on a video call if you want. Sure, why not? Done. Upload that. That's then going to take a minute. Then it's going to take you to a Facebook page and ask you for a bit more information about it. So here we go. This is now the publish and effect page on Facebook. So you can publish it live. So you want to give it your name. I'm just going to go head five number 2050. Um, that's the project that we're working on. Uh, platforms. I just put it on all platforms. Why not? Owner. That's my Facebook page, my Instagram page. Add some categories. So I would go something like world AR appearance, uh, fandom, and selfies. Done. Keywords, you can put some keywords here. I'm just going to throw in some generic ones. Uh, there we go. That's, that'll do for now. Uh, and then you need to upload a demo video. So if you want to capture a video of you actually using this in your phone, 
First of all, you've got to save this as a draft, which you can do top right corner. So if we save that, there we go. With it saved, you'll notice we've got a test on device button up here. We can also press this open in app button, which is going to give you a little window. And then we can send a notification to our device. So let's do Instagram. We'll hit send on that. And then on my phone, you see I've got this notification here. Try head 2050 by two me to you. And then that's going to load up in Instagram. And there it is for you to test. So you can record a little video um, in Instagram and then upload that to the page on your computer and it'll be reviewed by Facebook. It said it was going to take like five days to review, but it actually only took like an hour and now it's live on Facebook. Um, so there you go. That's it. Super simple. Enjoy.